for President John Fitzgerald Kennedy, November 22, 1963, started off auspiciously. The president and his wife, Jacqueline, were traveling in Texas with Vice President and Mrs. Lyndon Johnson. The day began in Fort Worth, Texas, where the president and Vice President and Mrs. Johnson attended a breakfast at the Hotel Texas. They then boarded a short flight to Dallas. Mrs. Johnson recalls the warm welcome they received from Dallas crowds. It all began so beautifully. The streets were lined with people, lots and lots of children, all smiling, placards, confetti, people waving from windows. We were rounding a curve, going down a hill. Suddenly, there was a sharp, loud report, a shot. 30 minutes later, at 1 o'clock Central Time, President Kennedy was pronounced dead. I'm Mark Updegrove, director of the LBJ Presidential Library, and this exhibit depicts the tragic and historic events of November 22, 1963. Sarah Hughes, a Dallas-based federal judge, swore Lyndon Johnson into office on Air Force One before the plane departed for Andrews Air Force Base outside of Washington. I had just gotten home from the trademark and I called my office and as I called my office, Lyndon Johnson was calling to find out if I would come out to swear him in. Of course, I immediately said that I would. There was a Bible on the plane. I was told that it was a Catholic Bible, so I can assume that it belonged to President uh, uh, Kennedy. There were about 25 people in the plane. The, pres the vice president uh, stood up in front of me. His wife stood on his left, and Mrs. Kennedy had sent word in that she wanted to be present. They all stood in front of me, very, very serious, very, very solemn, not emotionally upset but all showed uh, sincerely that they realized how serious the occasion was. I gave uh, Mr. Johnson the oath of office. I do solemnly swear. At 6.14 Eastern Time, President Johnson arrives at Andrews Air Force Base and makes his first address to the nation. This is a sad time for all people. We have suffered a loss that cannot be weighed. For me, it is a deep personal tragedy. I know that the world shares the sorrow that Mrs. Kennedy and her family bear. I will do my best. That is all I can do. I ask for your help and God. 2013 marks the 50th anniversary of the assassination of John F. Kennedy, when the nation lost its beloved leader and Lyndon Johnson ascended to the presidency. We invite you to the LBJ Presidential Library to reflect on this fateful day that changed the course of history.